Hey guys, what's up, welcome, thanks for tuning in. So I've been sitting here for like the last five minutes pondering whether or not I should make this video. And I guess I'm gonna make it because here we are. So basically, I have two pints of a new type of ice cream in my freezer that I bought with the intention of like trying it in a video, but I wasn't gonna make like the whole video about it. But right now today, Oh my goodness, I had a crazy night last night and I'm just kind of taking it easy today so it'd be a really boring video if I was going to vlog or anything like that so I'm like well maybe I should just make the whole video about the ice cream uh, like we used to do. So basically if anyone's been following my channel you will know that I love coconut bliss particularly the chocolate peanut butter. Yeah, y'all know that. <laughs> um, and they're a vegan ice cream, but they have changed. Oh shit. When I saw this in the store, I was like, what the hell? So I got some in my freezer and I'm gonna show you and we're gonna try it. Okay, so we have chocolate hazelnut fudge and twisted cookie dough. And they have changed their name. So they used to be called Coconut Bliss. Now they're called Cosmic Bliss. And look at this organic grass fed dairy. By the way, I broke a nail the other day. And I was looking at the grocery store and I was like, what? What the hell? What the heck is going on? because they're a vegan company right that's the whole thing is they're vegan with coconut milk so it was just like super shocking and I've always wanted seriously you guys I've been on the hunt for like a regular ice cream that sweetened with coconut sugar and not refined sugar and like all the ice creams that are sweetened with coconut sugar or maple syrup or like one of those alternative type sugars, they're all vegan. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh, it's my favorite brand and they're answering my prayers. And it's crazy too because everything in here, like all the sugar, coconut sugar, maple sugar, like there is no refined sugar in these ice creams. It's freaking phenomenal and we're about to try them. Okay, so let's try, should we try, basically we have twisted cookie dough, chocolate hazelnut fudge. Let's see what this looks like. Spread some bliss in the world. Yes, spread some bliss. Spread the good vibes. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Look at that. Looks pretty good. <laughs> By the way, I don't know how the lighting is in here. I have my ring light, but I didn't set it up. Um, last night was crazy, but let's try this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy crap. Because I love coconut bliss, but sometimes it's like so coconutty, you know? This is like. Oh. Ridiculously incredible. It's just really creamy and. Oh wow. This is amazing. Take a bite, take a bite. <laughs> and one thing that was nice is it was on sale. Mmm. I should go get more while they're still on sale, honestly. Because they're gonna not be on sale and they're gonna be like 10 bucks something. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, I am not even exaggerating. It's just so creamy. 
do I like it better than their non-dairy than the coconut one? Yeah. <laughs> It's really, really spectacular. The only thing though is I wish that they made the same version of the chocolate peanut butter where it's like chocolate ice cream with those delicious peanut butter. It's like the best, the way that they just hacked it with their chocolate peanut butter. Oh my word, this is ridiculous. Mmm. The little, um, cookie doughs are kind of funny. <laughs> They're kind of funny. I don't know why. Let me get one. Wow. I am blissing out. They call it cosmic bliss for a reason. It makes you bliss the out let's inspect this what's this is made out of mmm wow interesting oat flour fudge dough yeah it's kind of like a fudgy it's like dark <clears throat> dark all right let's try the other one so last night i hung out with ariel for the first time in a really long time she lives in san francisco so i went over there to visit her in san francisco and she's super happy right now she's got a new boyfriend they moved in together they've been together for like four months but it's the type of connection where it like feels like you know it's been forever like they know each other and just get along really good and stuff so i'm really happy for her interesting Twisted cookie dough looks like it has chocolate ice cream in it as well. Wow. Right off the bat, I like this one better. This one has like little teeny pieces of nut in it. Which is like all right, but I'd like it better without it. <laughs> mm. But here's some of like, there's like a swirl of something. Mm. Ooh, I like the swirl. Mmm. So, Ariel is really into her plants. It was my first time being there in a really long time. And like the back of her yard is like this oasis and there's this like a succulent haven and there's so many succulents and it's really beautiful and then she's gotten into having some more indoor plants but she doesn't get the best light in there so she's got like lights over her plants and they're all really cool looking and um mm, mm, mm. i got a chunk of fudge and it was a really good hazelnut fudge crunch. So the fudge in here is what's up. The fudge in the swirl. But I could do without the little teeny bits of. Mm. You know what it is? It's almost like I can tell that they use cocoa powder, which is fine. 
I just rather not be able to tell if that makes sense. By the way, it's really good. I'm just trying to use my critical hat because it's a taste test. We're trying it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so after we hung out there for a while and I got to meet her new beau and they are so into each other. He's like, this is the best relationship I've ever had. And I'm just like, yay. <laughs> Ooh, I can show you some fudginess. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. So after we were there, we ended up going to one of Ariel's favorite spots in the city that they like to go dance. And they go there like a lot, maybe every weekend, I don't know, but it's like their spot. And it's kind of like a Latin fusion night. <laughs> They said it was like the most packed that they've ever seen it. And they go there all the time. So I was like, wow, I'm getting like the full experience. And it was a lot of fun and we danced a ton and it was so hot in there. Like by the end, Raul's whole shirt was completely drenched. And so was this other dude who like was dancing with me and stuff. There was this one dude who came up to me and was like all dancing with me and then but I maintain a distance like I don't want people I don't know just like all up you know in my business so I'm like we can dance but like you know separate um <clears throat> and then I was like super thirsty so I went to the bar to just go get some water and then he like followed me over to the bar and was like I want to get you a drink and I'm like okay <laughs> and he's like it's all right we can dance but like no touching and i'm like okay that's cool so he orders me a drink i get a jaeger and um then we go back over there and we're dancing again and then after everything ends there at like 2 a.m we take an uber me ariel and raul to the other spot which is like this after hours spot that they know of that goes like super late to like six in the morning. <laughs> and then we danced there a bunch. And then we went back to Ariel's and they like, blew up a blow up bed for me to sleep on and I was able to fall asleep and I slept for a little bit but I woke up way too early and I couldn't go back to sleep because they slept I don't know if they usually do but they were sleeping with the TV on and it was just so um it just was keeping me awake so I ended up getting up like pretty early and then I left and then I drove home and uh That's why I'm a little bit haggard, okay? I'll admit it, I'm hungover. I'm not really hungover, but just like stayed up late, went dancing, didn't get sleep. But I was able to come home and get some sleep. So I did get some sleep, but you know how it is. <laughs> um, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. It was a really good time. It was fun seeing Ariel and um if you see these in the store it's a big freaking yes for me especially this one it's just something about the creaminess of the ice cream 
with that one is just so on point. This one's really good too, but with the critiques I made, made it's wow. I'm excited to hopefully try all the flavors, hopefully when they're on sale. Um, and be curious to look into it more and like figure out like learn why they're not vegan anymore they still have their vegan line but then obviously like they're not vegan anymore this is not vegan <laughs> and i'm honestly curious if a lot of like their loyal people who loyally buy from them are upset because chances are a big amount of their customer base are vegan so maybe they just really wanted to expand their line, you know, to a lot of other eaters who eat just regular ice cream. <clears throat> maybe they were vegan and maybe they're not vegan anymore. So maybe this just feels right for them and resonates. I don't know. But anyways, I'm really glad about it because like I said, I've been wanting <laughs> an ice cream brand that this is the whole reason I bought my ice cream maker to make my own ice creams is because this option did not exist and now it does so I feel grateful anyways guys I do hope you enjoyed this video please let me know and thanks for tuning in I'll see you next time